Hey guys, it's Manface. I am back doing commentaries. Isn't that great? I know you're excited because I am excited too. Doing commentaries for my subscribers. It's going to be awesome. So, I would like to recap from my last video. For those who are new or have missed me because I know you have missed me. Because I have missed myself too. No, I did not get a new computer. I did not... I mean, I'm still using the Pinnacle Studio 12. And the DVR device is still the Dazzle. So. The gameplay. You are watching Manface Pre-Wasted. I had acquired a fifth of Captain Morgan Spiced Rum, and I told the guys that I play with with that for each Blackbird they got out of kill streaks, not from a care package. I would take a shot. Did I chase it? No way. Straight up down the hatch. And so I recorded about three and a half hours of footage. I mostly use two classes and the t first class I used most most time most time I used this one was my flak jacket rush class. That consists of what you're watching now which is the Famas dual mag, RPG, frag grenade, Nova gas, C4, Black Jacket, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Hacker. Normally, I would have Motion Sensor on, but I was get, trying to get C4 kills for Hacker. And so, my second class is the Sniper class, which is the L96A1 Variable Zoom, Silenced M1911 Pistol, Tomahawk, Concussion, Motion Sensor, Ghost, Scout, or Harden, but I was using Scout because I was trying to get Scout Pro, Mar and Marathon because I like to use Marathon to get out of sticky, sticky situations which that I do not like. And so, some of you are probably wondering what I do for a living. Um, so, I, I dishwash for five days a week and I... I am, I am a volunteer firefighter, but I actually want to be an EMT first responder. A first responder is basically the person, like when a 911 call goes out, um, they'll contact, you know, because we have EMTs at the fire department, as well as firefighters, and some of us can be, you know, either an EMT, firefighter, or both, and what we do would be we go to the patient before an ambulance gets there and stabilize the situation so when the, you know when the ambulance gets there they can take them home you know to the hospital and stuff so I decided that I want to be I wanted to go in the Navy and the job that I want to do in the Navy which would help me with even my EMT is Corman and a corpsman is a medic for the United States Marines. And I figured that would be the best job, you know, because doing that, you'll see, you'll see everything, you'll do everything, you'll have the best experience, you'll be on top of the game. So with the, now with that all said and done, I kind of want to talk about a bit more of the game Black Ops. And one thing in particular that crossed my mind with a friend was what the hell is why do people do the demolition spawn trapping? I mean I I have an account on Huppet which is uh, www.huptt.com Huppet and you know I don't get why people do this. I mean, spawn trapping only boosts your stats 
and in my opinion, makes you the biggest noob ever because you're. I mean, obviously, I mean, you're spawn trapping. There's no it takes no skill in it. Like what I, you know, I play HQ because it's fun. You're constantly moving. You're constantly checking where the enemies are, and you know, is your teammate behind you dead? Are you the last guy? Do you you know? Because that's that's what people need to be doing. And spawn trapping. I mean, I've watched. I've done it too, and it's boring. And I still don't get it, even when I did do it. And I hate it. And people who say, "Oh, I'm good," yeah, I'm you know, you're not good. Clearly not good. So stop doing spawn trapping. Start doing some other objectives. Maybe some CTF. Maybe some you know, search and destroy. You know, I'm pretty sure that's you know, Camp City. Even in hardcore, hardcore anything is just Camp City. Just fucking. I mean, even without ghosts, you're still sitting in a corner. So, and then my next thing I wanted to talk about is about Activision. Should Activision, or does Activision need to invest on dedicated servers? This is something that I'm pretty sure a lot of people talk about with other people. But, you know, dedicated servers would be the best thing for black ops or maybe for any game in particular like i have home front and the single player sucks being less than four hours the multiplayer that is the holy grail of that game like you can read all the reviews you want but that game the multiplayer is where it's at and it's because of the dedicated servers because no one's complaining about host issues or you beat me because I have host. I mean, I don't pull host in Black Ops. Like, there's a few times that I do, but when I don't, I can still kick your ass. I don't even care what you can call it. Hacks, mod on my controller because I like to use an FAL sometimes. And some people like to call that out and it's just like, come on, dude. I've just got a quick finger. You should learn about that. Um, you know, dedicated servers should, you know, Activision needs to invest on that. You know, either for Black Ops, I, mean, I don't think they could do that with Black Ops now, but maybe with future games that they, you know, like other Call of Duties or whatever the games that they come out with, whatever uh, companies that they have. Um, but when I get bored with Black Ops, I like to troll people. I mean, it's <laughs> kind of like the next thing to get out of Black Ops is trolling people because it keeps me entertained and what I do I will change my gamer tag to what theirs is and I'll be like yo can I join your clan your clan's so gangster and um, maybe not gangster I'm not trying to you know single people out here I'm you know I'm I'm a nice guy unless I'm trolling you <laughs> But one time I was asked to join someone's clans, and my team and myself punished them to the brink of extinction, pretty much. And I was just laughing so hard after that. And it was the best day of, well, best day. Good times, you know. So, the last thing I would like to talk to you about is what grinds you know, what grinds your gears in Black Ops? Because what gets me, you know, host advantage, that's what gets me. Um, the spawn trapping makes you the biggest noob. You know, it just, call it just, ugh. And the damn hit detection. Oh my god, can that be any worse? I know they fixed it for sniping but there is still problems with hit detection and it annoys the shiznits out of me alright this is just plain garbage just put it in a big hefty bag stick it in the compactor or something like that take it to the dump and kick it down the mountain so so what I want you viewer you know viewers or subscribers or maybe new subscribers 
Leave a com leave comments what grinds your gears in Black Ops. Also, do you want me to commentate the three and a half hours rest of what I recorded? Because I will definitely do it. Or do you want me to make my montage? There you go. Thank you. I love you all. And I hope you love me too. I'm commentate for my subscribers and for anybody else who subscribes to me. I am Manface. This has been a Manface commentary. I hope you enjoy. And boom, bada bang. Love ya.